Exactly. Like, I think this is the right character to pick against this guy I've never met or seen Oh, before. our boy. Oh, oh it's IDK. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, thought so. Yeah. Honestly, I was pretty sure it was him. I just didn't want to, like, say it was right, right. another dude. But, yeah, IDK, definitely cool dude from Hawaii. Now He lives in SoCal now, or he's still Hawaii? I do believe that he's still in Hawaii. I think he's just taking some time here. At least to my knowledge, I could be wrong. Gotcha. Uh, but excited to see him here. DK, very, very capable character. And do you know where Gizmo's from? I do not. All right, well, that makes that even more exciting. Man. Yeah, right? There are going to be so many players that, you know, us as commentators just have not gotten the chance to see at a, uh, see at a premier event yet. So, yeah, right. and, it, and there's so many people that could be potential threats out here, right? We have a game that's so new. Again, like we said before, so much tech. And a lot of people are loving it because we just have the sheer amount of people install base that we have because of the Switch and everything like that. We're just going to have a lot, a lot of people, which means more chances to have a lot of talent come through and <laughs> show people what's up. Yeah, absolutely. And IDK, uh, been a loyal sub to DK Will for the longest time until I first heard his name. Will told me he's been cooking up DK Tech ever since the early days of Smash 4. Yep. So I'm excited to see what he could do with this iteration of DK, which I'm going to be real, probably seems like the best DK we've seen yet. Yep. Even with the loss of the Ding Dong kill confirm, this character's got some silly stuff. He's got armor on side B. Oh, was... man, that thing is so good. Oof. I was playing with West Balls the other day. I and was he playing with him today. Yeah, he, yeah. He's staying in my the room. The side B god. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was mashing on that. The first couple games, man, I'm not going to lie, I got slapped by West Balls. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that, that move is a problem. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you've got all kinds of low percent grab combos still, even though you're not going to land a KO off of them. Right. IDK not afraid to whip those out in the beginning of the match. Ooh, Ooh, I like that. That was hot. Gizmo with the setups. B reversing two grenades right next to each other. Double trouble. Yeah, so, you know, it's always nice because you always can tell the kind of level and the quality of a snake player within the first, like, three, four seconds of the match. Because you'll be like, okay, they got setups. Yep. Oh, boy, oh. IDK said, I don't Ooh. care. Oh. IDC, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was ridiculous. Catching him and shielding on a platform. Also, one of the favorite techs of snake players is to shield after dropping a grenade. Yeah. Side B with armor will tank the grenade, exactly. blow the grenade up on your shield, and then hit your shield with the side B yes. for a like guaranteed automatic shield break. Right. Very, very, very strong. Man, Gizmo, he was cooking in the beginning, but now he's getting cooked. Yep. But look, oh, going to hit him on the other side. Opportunity. Run it back. You know the snake classic. He's going to hit that one away, fortunately enough. Oh, gets the down throw to up Easy tilt. up tilt, yep, yeah. And, go. of course, you know, the nade for extra measure. Yeah, he didn't even need to pummel. I was kind of worried that the grenade blowing up would mess up his combo. Same. But, yeah. hey, he's still able to get it done. Oh, IDK. watch out. Surprised he didn't just take the, the forward smash or some kind of guaranteed kill off that. But yeah, same. Anything you could do to get that damage on, man. That's good enough. Oh, the wow. Oh, oh, what my the God. Yo, King Kong. The intimidation. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Okay, he's going to air dodge up to the edge. Gizmo's still fighting here. 140% down, but that's not going to scare him. Oh, good catch on that pivot grab. Yeah, that was great movement there. Just a little shuffle with his dash dance to see, um, hey, where am I going to actually end up? Where should you aim this landing aerial? Oh, Ooh, the spot dodge, the spot clutch dodge. That was so clutch. Oh, oh. no way. Oh, oh, no way. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> Yo, let's go. These guys are trying to play. This is man mode right here, all right? This is the battles. Yeah. Man and beast. <laughs> He's like, you edge guarded me with a taunt. I'm going to do the same yeah. right now. Snake I, actually could do it, though. Yeah. I respect it. I respect it. Ooh, Gizmo just looking for some kind of opening. Gets him with the short hop Nair. Yeah, going to go set up. I like that. Going back. The pressure on the platform. Beautiful stuff here. Going to maintain this. Go for ledge trap. DK's up B, though. Exploiting one of those weaknesses in the Nikita missile. That is, if you clank it out, it turns the hitbox exactly. off for a couple frames. Yeah, you really have to be on point uh, and kind of put that out versus DK early. Otherwise, you will have that issue. Yeah, or hit him underneath or above. Exactly. Your base oh, oh, and the C4 yeah. IDK. Not able to track that visually. Such a tricky Ooh, move, man. It kind of dashes right by him. It seemed like IDK was really intent on going for that dash dance rather than kind of reading his opponent. And Gizmo has got away because of that. Oh. All these explosions, though. IDK not finding a second to breathe and charge up his punch. Now he's got it, though. Gizmo has to be sweating. At this point, there are so many moves that could kill Snake. Even being a pretty heavy character, just going to go for that up throw. Yeah, attempt up there. So now one thing I'm seeing already. Oh, you're going to throw him off? Okay. Here's the setup. Recovery. I like Easy the B-reverse. Gone. That should be it. Oh, no. No, not never yet. Mind, never mind. No, but he's going to be able to chase. Here's the thing. Yes. 
That's the situation. It is Snake has a hard time dealing with that because even if you do not die, his recovery takes so much time. And DK, you have these disjoints, you have upper body invincibility, all these aspects that allow him to really pressure Snake once he gets in that position. And it's really a checkmate. And you know what the best part of it is? All of those moves that cover all that space are so strong yes. that they'll just do you in at 100% off the edge. Exactly. Even if you're a heavy character like exactly. Snake. Exactly. And if you want to go for a grenade, well, he has big sweeping hitboxes and he's upper body invincible. So guess what? He doesn't care about that grenade. Yeah. It's just that character can do a lot of things in that situation. Really good stuff right there by IDK. And even if he does have to take the grenade trade, you're hitting Snake for 15 with one of your crazy moves. Right. And then he's taking another 13 from the grenade. And, you know, you're winning that trade every exactly. time. And yeah. Plus, DK, one of the few characters considerably heavier than Snake. Exactly. So he can deal with that trade. Oh, that's a grab. Yep. Throw him out of here. Interesting. Just chucking him away. Doesn't even want to attempt to juggle with the cargo up throw. Maybe just a misinput. Yeah. So one thing I have seen is IDK has definitely been having problems with punishing uh, Gizmo's directional air dodges in. A lot of times he's been doing that on a chase sequence, and you've seen IDK simply run right past him with scenarios, and it allows him to at least in life. Ooh, good parry. Doesn't look like he was looking for it, though. Okay, that was actually cute. I that love that really slow cute. recovery. Yeah, that uh, was super cute. Because <laughs> Snake dips a little bit before exactly. picking it up on the cypher. Yeah. And sometimes you forget, right, that Snake can now actually jump with his nades. Yeah, So I, I, yeah. yeah, so I really love that he went for that. Okay, got the back throw. Nikita set up. Mortar set up. Is. Ooh, and the, the poke. Yep, that down tilt's always going to reach, especially on a big hurt box like DK. Dude, oh. Snake's down tilt, the most underappreciated of his... Oh, wow, I love that. He yes. hit, blown himself up with right. that, yeah. Yeah, really good stuff. The delay. Oh, my gosh. Be gone. That was a banishment right there. Yeah. And Gizmo's definitely got some tech with Snake, man. He's got that auto pickup on the grenades as well. But DK, just such a slugger, man. He can keep beating you up and just taking all that damage and still surviving. Absolutely. One of his key advantages in this matchup, not that he necessarily wins it or anything, but it is the ability to get rid of that Nikita, man. DK yeah. with a, a recovery that's normally so exploitable for a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. Snake has to put himself at such a risk to edge guard with anything other than Nikita. Yeah. And again, like you said, uh, utilizing that instant pickup, man. Really good stuff. I've seen him do the instant throws, of course, as well. Uh, with the attack cancels, really, really amazing by Gizmo. I actually wish that he would kind of sit back a bit more because his his nade game is so good. It actually really it's is. Really, yeah. really great. But a lot of times he tries to slug it out. I feel like these guys are still having that kind of battle with these taunts, and like he, he feels in the need to be aggressive, and IDK is punishing that. He probably also thinks that he might not have enough time to set up against DK. Big as this character is, he is quite fast on the ground. Absolutely. So we'll see. If Gizmo is able to maybe shake some of this rush down, I love that. Perfect timing, cooking that grenade. Yeah. See, and right now, now it looks like he's going more so into his traps, and he's definitely uh, bringing this one back because of it. Just going to tag DK with that one grenade. Not the explosion, of course. Oh, I like okay, the chase down. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, this man Gizmo is wild. Yeah, he's trying to do some things. He, he is he from Hawaii? Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, that's definitely some Hawaii play. Shout out to War. If you guys know, man, the old school tech, man. Yeah, man, that was Hawaii's calling card back in the day. The unnecessarily flashy, crazy yep. combo videos. Like, exactly. This couldn't possibly work in tournament, could yep. it? <laughs> hey, man, dude, I wonder if War is here. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah, but absolutely. <laughs> anyway, Gizmo all of a sudden back in the game. Oh, Ooh. man, and what a favorable trade. Yeah, interrupting that first forward tilt yep. with a very light hit, giving him just another one. Exactly. The three-hit forward tilt. <laughs> oh, DK's up, B ha or up smash. Oh, has no. The, oh, the mash. Oh, my goodness. What Spins. a beautiful mash. Yeah, I did not see an up smash there from IDK. But it does oh. not matter. Again, that's the thing. It does not matter if you have a nade when you're going.